Hi, it's Emma Nago. So welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you are a returning subscriber. So today I'm going to do a review and wear test of this new Technique foundation. So this is the Pro Finish Matte Fix Long Wear Foundation and I have it in the color Ivory. So this foundation retails for £5 on Technique's website and that's where I got it but I actually got it with a 40% off coupon code. Technique always has good coupons so definitely use a coupon if you're shopping on there. And yeah, I did a full review and wear test with this foundation. And for reference, I do have super oily skin, especially in my T-zone. So if you also have oily skin and you have been eyeing this matte foundation, I'm going to give you the full breakdown of this product in today's video. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also click the bell to get post notifications. And if you share this video on social media, it really helps out my channel a lot so thank you if you do that and now without further ado let's just get right into the review okay so i'm starting with clean moisturized skin and here's the foundation this is what it looks like so this is the technique pro finish matte fix long wear foundation so this claims to look professional be matte and be long wearing so that's what we're going to test today hopefully the color is good i have it in the color ivory it looks a tiny bit dark in the bottle but i think i should be able to make it work so i always use a primer before my foundations so i'm going to do that today as well i'm going to use this garnier optical blur primer so this will kind of blur out my pores around my nose and my cheeks and my chin but it won't change um, the finish of the foundation, so it won't make it more matte or more luminous. And it won't really prolong um, the wear of the foundation. So that's why I'm using this primer, just to help fill in my pores. So now let's do the foundation. I'm thinking I'm gonna do two pumps and see how that looks. It doesn't say on the foundation bottle, but on Technique's website it says that this is medium buildable coverage. So we shall see about that. So two pumps, that's about that much. So I'm just going to dot it on as I usually do. It has like a very soft scent. It smells kind of like fresh. It's very muted, but it smells kind of fresh and kind of like skincare. So it is a tiny bit dark for me. I did get the um, second to lightest color. It only comes in six colors, so that's definitely a big downside to this product. But um, let's go ahead and see how it looks once we blend it in. It blends in well. It blends really easily. It doesn't like clump up. It's not hard to blend. And I would say the claim about medium coverage is correct. It's definitely not full, but it's not super light coverage either. It blends really well. I'm really pleased with how it's blending out. And it does look like a natural matte finish. And even on my nose, where I left it on the longest, it doesn't look patchy. It doesn't like set too quickly and then becomes hard to blend. So I'm just dragging it down my neck. I feel like the color is not too bad. Probably if I got the lightest color and then mixed it with this one, it would be perfect. So that's one layer. What do you guys think? I actually think it looks really really good. It blended out so effortlessly and it's medium coverage and it has a nice matte finish without being super matte. So if you don't like um, the very intense matte look, then this is good for you. But of course it did say it was buildable, so I'm going to try and build it up now. So we are going to do another two pumps and just do exactly like the first time so it's definitely building on itself and I still think it looks great it blends out so easily so definitely don't be afraid to build it up it builds up beautifully and sometimes when you build up matte foundations they can go kind of patchy because you're building on top of a very matte surface but this one is not doing that at all it's super easy to blend it or to build it up and I feel like it looks pretty true to the color in the bottle. As you can see, it is too dark for me. You can see it even more pronounced now. 
then I have more coverage but I'm going to even it out with some concealer and powder so it's going to be fine but as I said if you are around my skin tone that is a lighter color I believe it's called porcelain I feel like it might have oxidized a little bit I feel like it looks a little more orange on my skin than it does in the bottle but otherwise I'm really really pleased with this foundation it blends beautifully it applies beautifully it's not patchy it doesn't skip it doesn't like clump up I think the claims are very true it is like medium slightly buildable it's not like full full coverage but it's on the heavy end of medium and it is like a professional matte finish so I'm loving it so far I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup now and then come back when I'm all done and then I'm going to do my wear test. Okay, so I have all my makeup on now. I applied concealer and powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, and I applied a new setting spray to this half of my face only. So I'm going to see if this spray makes my face more matte because this is supposed to be an ultra matte setting spray. So I have that on this side of my face and I have no setting spray on this side. And so far I can't tell a difference. I think both sides look matte and I don't think there's any real difference and I also think the foundation looks good it looks exactly like when I first applied it it hasn't oxidized any further it hasn't gone cakey when I applied my concealer and powder or my bronzer and blush or anything I think it still looks really good I applied it about two hours ago it is now around 3 30 in the afternoon so I will check back with you guys um, later on tonight to see how it's looking to see if it's still looking good and if it actually stays matte that is like my main concern that it's going to be long wear and matte because right now I feel like it does have you know the nice professional finish that it claims I feel like it has a nice medium buildable coverage so now I just want to see if it also wears a long time so yeah, I'm going to go about my business and I will check back in with you guys in some hours. Okay, so I'm not quite done with my day yet, but I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick. Just to give you an update on the foundation. So it's still looking pretty good, I think. I haven't touched it up at all. I applied it around 2 o'clock. It's now almost 8. So it has been on for about 6 hours. And as you can see in my T-zone, it has started getting oily. But it's not too bad. I would still you know, go out like this, I think it looks fine. I feel like it is fading a little bit, especially down here along the jaw, but yeah, I still think it looks really nice actually. And I did put on, you know, my matte setting spray on this side of my face and then nothing on this side, but I can't really tell a difference. I think it looks exactly the same from left to right. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I will update you again at the end of the night. But so far it looks good. So I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is around 9.30 now. So the foundation has been on for like at least 7 hours. And I still haven't touched it up. But at this point, I definitely would if you know, I was out and about wearing this face. I did apply my setting spray all over my face to see if that would um, tone down the shine. I just did that like a few minutes ago, but as you can see, um, it's shiny. It didn't do anything, so this is what we're working with. But I actually don't think it's that bad. To some, this might be a lot of shine. It might be very greasy, but to me, this is totally fine for seven hours of wear. I would simply go ahead and touch up right now and that is also what I'm going to do. So let's go ahead and see how it looks once I touch it up. Just with some powder. Mm, that looks much better. I think I could probably go another hour or two but then after that um, I wouldn't really be able to touch up anymore because the oils would just be too much. Like I would be able to touch up and then five minutes later literally um, my whole face would be back too greasy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think it looks half bad. And I feel like it still remains with a lot of the coverage intact. I feel like it might have faded a bit down here. I don't know if I mentioned that in my last update. But I feel like it might have faded a bit down here. A little less over here. I feel like it's faded more over here. But other than that, I feel like it still looks, still looks good. And I feel like if I used a mattifying primer underneath this foundation first, it would last even longer. So I actually really like this guy. I like the way it blended, I like the finish on the skin, I liked how long it wore 
I like the cover match and I actually don't think the color is too bad again I feel like I might need to mix this with the lighter color but yeah I quite like it I would definitely use it again I think it's a very decent um, matte foundation the only problem with this is of course the limited shade range this one only comes in six colors I have the color ivory which is the second to lightest so it does go pretty light because this ivory color is only slightly too dark for me and from what I could see on Technique's website, that darkest color is actually very dark. Of course, that's only what I was able to tell from the pictures on their website. I haven't actually uh, bought the darkest color. But it does look pretty dark. So most likely, if you want to try this foundation, um, it would be a good idea to buy two colors and then mix and match. Because of the limited shade selection, of course, there's going to be less of a probability that there's going to be a perfect shade match for you. But I think if you mix a few colors, um, you might find a really good shade. And it is a super affordable foundation. So even if you buy two, it's not a lot of money. And I really like the packaging. It's very fancy, I feel like. It is a glass bottle. I like the like, matte black cap. I like the writing. It just it looks fancy. And of course, it does come with a pump, which is very handy. But yeah, that is my take on the Technique Pro Finish Matte Fix Foundation. Let me know what you thought of the video down below. Let me know if you've tried this foundation yourself. Or let me know if you've tried the Technique like Pro Glow or something like that foundation, like the Luminous foundation. I am very interested in that, even though I do have oily skin, as you could see throughout this video. And don't forget to thumbs up the video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also click the bell to get post notifications. And that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. So take care and bye bye.